As most of you know, solo rust on wipe day can be pretty difficult, so I went in with a plan. My goal this wipe was going to be to wall off HUM quarry, so I could have a shop where I could trade 25 high qual for one diesel, profiting me 25 high qual per transaction, giving me an access to near unlimited resources in the long run. This wouldn't come easy though, because on wipe day, large groups have their eyes set on getting control of this monument for the same reason I do. But even being solo, I knew my plan was possible if everything went right, and let's just say it went pretty well, all things considered. Alright, it's literally like two minutes in a force wipe. I'm pretty sure I'm like the first person on this server. We're just gonna head straight to the build spot. Originally, I had no idea where I wanted to live, but then I noticed this almost perfect island with HQM power plant and large oil all nearby, so I figured if I could be the first one there, this would be perfect. Ooh, say less. Also want to hop in real quick and give a quick little shout out to all my members on YouTube. I really appreciate you guys. If you're interested in becoming one, link's in the description. Nah, I got no time to recycle. I'll just go to Bandit or something. Okay, has he? Nice. Okay, let's go hit dome, grab the diesel, and then go to bandit. That is massive. I mean, I'm not I'm not sure if we're going to be first to HQM. I'm taking quite a while, but I'm getting a lot of loot in the process. So I think I'm just going to drone some stuff real quick. Oh my god, no way. Real quick, boys, for reaching 10,000 subs, I'm going to be doing another giveaway for a few skins. Once again, all you have to do is comment on this video and you will be automatically entered. The winners are going to be posted in my Discord on August 13th. You do not have to be subscribed to win, but I would greatly appreciate it as I want to hit 20k by the end of the year. Thanks, boys. Now finding this rev was huge here, because even though it was force wipe, I was on a server that didn't wipe BPs, so I instantly went and purchased some nades, repaired the rev, and made some ammo, which was going to be huge for early game fights, especially as a solo, due to it only being 15 minutes in. God, I'm kind of potatoing. It's alright though. Oh my god, I just gotta loot and run. I gotta find a way to get the best stuff and run. I cannot loot all this. We just gotta get out of here and go to build spot. Alright, we dipping, we dipping, we dipping. Someone's already here. Screw it, we're, we're gonna try and go for it. We're going for it. It's probably only like one. Considering I was risking nearly my whole wipe here fighting these people trying to claim HQM, I decided to do the smart thing and chop two bags I saw along the way, knowing that if I killed them here, I probably wouldn't have to fight any respawns, giving me a way higher chance to win. 
Okay, so it's probably just two and they only have like one door, I'm guessing. I'm just going to door camp and see if I can deep their base and take it over. Ooh, metal door. Shoot. Holy, that was close. That was close. Okay, we should be good. We already chopped their other bags, and I have a satchel for this TC. I can literally just demo and take it over. We're good. We're good. Two more satchels as well. What the... Oh my god. Nah, 400 scrap. Nah. Okay, let's get this sealed. We gotta, we gotta get this sealed quick. Let's go, dude. Holy. Having clutched up, I now had primary control over HQM Quarry, but knowing how contested it usually is, I decided to fully focus on getting TC set up around it before another group came in and tried to bully me out of it. And just like that, we managed to have all of HQM Quarry TC'd off, but it wasn't all smooth sailing from here. Due to only farming a little bit of stone so far, I was only able to get a couple of the TC's upgraded and sealed with stone before I ran into some trouble nearby. Oh god, we got some contesters. <laughs>
Nope, we gotta run. There's four of them. I can't fight this. I would have had to kill that Hazzy instantly. Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is so bad, though. Honestly, at this point, I thought there was no way for me to get out of this situation. They had three guys door camping me and were hatcheting out my wood externals. The only thing I knew is if I put the pressure on them and lit them up, they'd have very limited healing while I could heal up and keep fighting them over and over. So that's what I did. Dude, come on. That's, that's one dead. I just have to make my move now. There's no other way. It's 1v3 now. This guy just broke the TC. And with my very last bullet of my rev, I managed to wipe this four man out just in time to secure the last TCs needed. But I wasn't going to stop there. Now that they were on the back foot, I grabbed both of the satchels I got off them in the first place and figured there was going to be no better time for me to raid these guys considering they'd probably be low on HP and weapons. Ooh, they actually got a decent amount. I'm surprised. Oh, damn! They're actually kind of stacked! I got nothing for a door at all. I'm just gonna grab the best and go. Honestly, I can carry most of it. Let's get out of here. That's a dub right there.
just like that, I was completely stacked, and I had momentum on my side here, so I finished upgrading all the externals to stone to get my base location set in stone, and then I headed straight to power plant to get a red card to see maybe I could sneak a large oil rig run in. Dude, why is it so dark? Why does Rust make it so dark I can't even see where I'm going? I don't know how I'm going to manage to even get to the red card right here. Nah, this is just straight up ridiculous. After returning from power plant, I crafted up a Tommy with the SMG body I found, and then I sent it straight to oil rig to see if I could snowball my wipe even harder. That's literally 200 high qual right there. That's <laughs> so good. Overall, the oil rig loot was actually pretty insane. Managed to get an airdrop, two GLs, and a bunch of extra guns, which is going to set me up perfect. And right on cue, my teammate managed to get on, so now we are a duo, and it was time to dominate, because everyone was still way less geared than us. Now that my teammate was on, we set out to farm so we could finally move bases to right nearby the quarry, due to the fact we were already running out of space. But not long after starting the farming session, we got distracted when we saw a group pull up on a tugboat and set a base up right nearby. So we went over to investigate. Wait, you think this is their base right here? Yeah, it looked like wetsuit pistol. Oh, one's coming in, you're naked. He unlocked his coat and cut off. Oh, I messed up. I was a little too late. That's my bad. Shotgun trap? Watch out, watch out. Yeah, that's their metal bar right there. Yeah, watch out for that. You could probably back up and uh, jump and check that shot. But I wouldn't. I can just go back and make ladders, and we could ladder up the roof and molly the door. It's a I wood door. Let's do that, let's do that. Just hold this down, hold this down. Knowing we may have some issues if people got set up too close to us, we decided to just send it and go back and craft some ladders and mollies and raid their door, not knowing how deep these guys were. Watch out, I'm gonna molly this door. Because they could just throw up a metal door if they have enough code. I don't think they have enough frags yet. I'm pretty sure they just put this up. We should be okay. Oh, fuck, hell yeah. Can you drop down here? Can you drop down? Just let me know where they're at. Yep, yep. Yeah, Python, he's right next to the TC left side. He might have moved to the right. All dead, all dead. I just flicked on this guy so hard. They're oh, all dead. I just need help. Get back really? here, get back here. I'm trying to spawn in here. Really hmm. Where are they? There's more than what shot me. I'm cleaning it.
Their shotgun trap killed him with front door open. Yeah, I just need you back here. I need you back here. I can seal. Alright, we're good. I broke all bags and got a metal door on front. Just let me know when you need in. Kill them. Ah, uh, yeah. Go. Did you take my body or did they loot it? Uh, I looted it. it putting your stuff back on your body. Yeah, can I get a head? Uh, actually, I probably need it. Oh, look at this oh naked's body! Yeah, yeah. No, it's not no one's body. Did they swear that to me? With our first duo raid successful, we got exactly what we needed. Just more farm and more comps so we could set up a new base and keep snowballing. So that's exactly what I did. All right, base secure. We just need a TC. I'll start moving loot when you have to go AFK. After building the base up for a bit, I noticed a boat out in the water that I was assuming just came from the first cargo. I saw it pull up to the shore only a few tiles away. Seeing this, I decided I wanted to go investigate. Well, that didn't go to plan. As sad of a loss this was, honestly, it really didn't bother me. This actually made me realize that we weren't that ahead of the curve compared to all the groups on the server. And now, we had a target. For the next little bit, I spent most of my time transferring the loot from our starter to our main base while my teammate was AFK. And then once he came back, we were going to go back on the offensive. There's a fight at power plant if you want to come here. Could have saw over here. He's actually pretty loaded. He's loaded. He's loaded. If you can get over here.
Uh, C4 on the- that's on the tugboat. There's three Tommy kids. on me, Tommy on me. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, There's three kids raiding the tugboat, you said? Oh, they just satcheled their C4. Where are you? Man. Get over here, get over here! This guy is loaded! He's full inventory of nodes! Get over here! Oh my god. Dude, we're actually kind of popping off. We just need to keep this snowball going. Yeah, Guy next to power plant up here. Yeah, to the left of me. He sees me. He sees me. He's kind of lit. Headshot. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, right in front of him? There's just a, uh, wait, no, he has a hoodie. Hit him once. Twice. Just a hoodie naked. I don't, I don't think he had anything, just naked hoodie. Ooh, I just folded him through the tree. I just don't think any weapons. Is... After dominating most of the PvP fights in our area, I ran into someone a little bit familiar and decided it was time to get rid of him before it was too late. We have sulfur, we have PPs, we just need to get in. Hello man, where are you from? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Japan. Nah, it is them Tanner, it's them. We have to raid these guys now. Now, if you're familiar with my old videos, there has been a Japanese clan in a few of my videos that is known for building insane bases and offline raiding me. This guy, I recognize his name from prior wipes, so we decided to instantly go raid their starter before it was inevitably too late. Oh my god, that just scared the no, shit out of me. He's dead. It's open, it's open. I mean, it's a decent loot, kind of a lot of junk. Oh, TC's actually kind of stacked. Not bad. We can pick up their tier 2 and sell it too. I'm gonna grab TC and just hold outside. I just want them off the map before they get too crazy. There's still stuff in the frame. Alright, nice. Let's go. They're off the map. Yeah. And just like clockwork, we were wiping out clans all around us. And as we were, I just kept building the base bigger and bigger. But it was only going to be a matter of time before we started meeting our match. With our base upgraded quite a bit, we decided to venture out a little bit farther, and we started to run into some clans. And one of them, we decided to pick a fight that was looking a little unlikely to win. Yeah, There's four, yeah. no, five on the tugboat and then two in their base, so it's seven of them. There's I don't, three, yeah. we can try and fight it. I'm kind of down, actually. Oh, you want three, two, one this guy up top? Three, two, one this guy on the t very tip top right. of the tugboat. All right, ready? Twice.
Oh yeah, he downed on the top. He's only down. <laughs> They're oh, really there. We gotta, we gotta, no, we gotta run. We gotta run. There's way too many of them. Oh, I just got so many hit markers. There's like four pushing. Run, 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 run. Over. I shot him. He might have died over here. Left. Just loot real quick if we can in these bushes. He's like right here uh, on me. Bunch of random shit. One med. Just loot and go. I don't even. No, know they're close, 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 close. Oh! I walled. I walled. I walled. I walled. We're not, we're not getting out of this. Maybe I can hold this rock. I'm gonna try and hold this rock. Oh, I'm so screwed. Nah, I'm screwed. I got headshot. This is so bad. Close right as well. Close right as well. I'll try and scram for you. I'm dead. That that was my bad. Now it wasn't going to be long at all before we ran into these guys again because shortly after, they pulled up to HQM quarry to start running some of their diesel. But we weren't going to let that happen for free. Now we were fighting on our terms. Oh. They're probably running HQM. Maybe. I'm going to put on a kit. Let me know what you see. I'm getting sword out. There's one at quarry. I killed him. I smoked him. There's three. I but killed one, two left that I've been shot at by. I'm crafting explosives, so I'm kind of just on the road. That kid looked like. Where'd kidding. you kill him? Uh, I'm pushing out. Let's fight these guys. Uh, at one of our externals at HQ Quarry. There's one east, straight east though, with a SAR. Careful. There's a bunch. This gun's gonna break on me, and I won't be able to. On the mountain, fifty. You just shot at me. I'm gonna sneak around. Just try and scout for me. Let me know what you. Let me know what you see. I'm gonna push up the mountain. I need to grab this SAR. Okay, yeah, I need to grab this SAR. All right, I'm getting really close. I'm, almost, I'm should be able to kill one here shortly. Fifty, and then on the mountain, like snowy mountain, directly across from our base. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, they're running. They're running HQM. One dead up here. Another one dead up here. I'm lit. The one's going back to loot his kit at quarry. We got to kill that guy. There's another one up on me. Oh, I need to reload my sword. This one's dead at the TC. I got an MP5 kit. I'm running back to base. Can you come help me? No, I can't. I have 40 explosives on me. Okay, yeah, run back, run back. I'm gonna flank these guys. Another one dead in the forest over here, has he? I think maybe the last one dead, up on the external. I think that's all of them. I potatoed hard. I got shot from the right. I did. There's another one though. 
We managed to win that fight while massively outnumbered, giving us a lot of confidence and getting their 200 HUM and a bunch of extra guns. Putting two and two together, we realized it was the tugboat group that we just fought. So we decided we were going to take our 40 explosives we just crafted and go pull up to their base and try to profit raid them, which was really risky but could pay out if we did it smoothly. Oh, I guess I'm taking violence around. They're upgrading. Let's just get in, loot what we can, and get out. We can't. We can't spend too much time here. We're dead. I'm pushing. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Okay, yeah. just get out, just get out. Whatever you got. I'm just gonna die for it if I need to. It's fine. Was it worth, do you think? Yes, because I, I have I have, I have 5k GP, 2.2k uh, scrap. Okay, yeah, just dip. I'm gonna grab the rest of the scraps and see if I can get out. It was under there, I'm frozen. I'm full frozen. Full frozen. And I'm out. I didn't loot all the bags. I only looted. The I looted the rest. I got. I got the best of everything else. You're good. No shot. We actually just heisted yeah, that. Dude, I actually five, heisted. I'm gonna put it in a box for you. Five k GP, two point three k scrap, five hundred crude. And that's pretty much it for like really good stuff. But that's really good. And without even having to shoot a single bullet, we managed to sneak this raid under this clan's nose. This was going to set us up even better because of the amount of explosives we got from them. So from here on out, it was just smooth sailing. That's crazy. It worked that easy. I did not think that was going to work. Not even nice. Given we were still only a few hours in the wipe, I made the long trek to Bandit to buy a mini because we wanted to see how other groups around the map were progressing. As we were flying around though, we heard our neighbors only a few tiles to the east getting raided, so we figured we'd go try and counter. One of them hit pretty hard. I'm gonna try and flank around to the right, probably. And a one on the extreme. They have a camper right here. Uh, blue head. Twice on the base. They're just not peeking my side. I'm gonna keep flanking to the right. I think. They're behind this box external too. If I had a wall over here, they're just shooting me. Killed one. Wolf head down. Killed another? I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push. Yeah, I'm kinda moving to the left. Watch over that turret. It's right there. Base is lit? I'm going far left, so that we're gonna pinch him here. Base guy's dead. Get behind me. Love me. He's above me on the mountain southwest. So he's gonna be above you too, too. Like 200 southwest. Right here. 
right above me somewhere. Wait, one spawned in here. One spawned this little one by one. Last base one dead. Other one's pushing me. Dead. Let's just loot and go. This kid above, I don't know. I might just push down. I don't think so. I heard someone else though, so I'm pushing to the base. Pretty sure base owner's ceiling right now. That's fine though. They're uh, upgrading on the roof, yeah. Yeah, they got Now for some context, the guys we just countered were the same guys I won before for HQM quarry earlier in the wipe, which was nice and all, but little did we know, we just defended the base of some guys that were going to be very annoying later in the wipe, with one of them actually ended up getting banned for cheating the next day. Now at this point, day one was going almost too good, but as we were starting to feel that way, we started to hit some roadblocks that really put a halt to some of our snowballing. I mean, there's at least three of them on it, but I think I can send us to the front if you're down. Okay, that was way more than I thought there was. Plus, they had an L9 up top. I did not know that. After taking quite the L honestly, losing our metal kits and mini, we headed straight down to Excavator with 10 diesel to try and run it for frags, but once again, as we were on our way, we got interrupted by the same exact group. Uh, is that a boat behind us with like four kids? Dude, we are I'm so bolting. dead. Just try and eat us and run. We are probably just dead. They suck. What, we gonna try and fight this? Stash and fight this, or what are we doing? Killed one, downed him. Killed another one, full dead. Nope, I'm dead. Fuck, man. One, I think it's just one left, maybe two. He's reloading. Someone's pushing me. One dead. Might. One more. I think so, yeah, I hear someone medding on the bodies. Someone's medding on the bodies. Okay. I'm just putting attachment on. He's still on top of the bodies. I heard him step once, step twice. Jump. Naked jump. Last one dead! Last one dead! You're all by yourself, though. <laughs> no! They are so stacked! Try to just leave guns because you are so far. Dude, you need to get back here. Watch out for people running back. But uh, kid is like a wolf head. Nah, oh my god. I'm just running. I'm just grabbing the best stuff and running. Uh, I think I'm screwed. I'm getting shot at. I have no meds. This is bad. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn, dude. Two heartbreaking losses in a row kind of set us back a little bit, but in the end, we are still insanely loaded. To rebound, we decided to beef up the base a bit so we could start working on the main goal, making a shop that would give us unlimited HQM. Starting with that, I set up some externals in a compound just so we could start cooking some more boom, because I knew to wall off HQM, it was going to take a lot of resources, so we were going to be raiding for them. Our original goal was going to be to go hit the 7 man again, see if we could profit rate him one more time. But then we saw a massive base being built up and figured this might be our time to make the move. Dude, that thing is going to be fat. Let's just raid that now. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
got ladders. Yeah, I have a couple. Yeah. I'm just gonna blow the top door and then. If there's like a garage door, I'm just gonna blow the roof. On the other base. Oh. Twice on that guy. Yeah, there's a shotgun tarp. I'm just gonna blow the roof. You can drop down, you can drop down. I got a ladder. I already did, I already did, I already did. I'm just gonna rocket this wood door right here. Watch out for more. Okay, we're fine. I'm just gonna splash, splash the middle. We should be good. It's pretty open. There's garage doors all around. I'm just gonna rock these garage doors. We do, I don't think we have enough, but we can go back and get more if we need to. We gotta break these locked boxes and see if we can get a little more boom. We barely don't have enough for the other garage door. There's a thousand sulfur in there. That should be enough to finish this garage door off. There's people outside though. We gotta kill them. Yeah, there's a Tommy on ground. I can't make it. All dead. Now after blowing the last garage door, I was genuinely confused where TC could have been. So I did some searching around and I found a sheet metal one by one on the second floor. So I decided that had to be where it was at. So I started soft siding it to see if we could get main loot. Hey guys, across the lake that we're shooting at you with SARS. Yeah, we want to raid them too for being annoying. Oh, there is a loot bag. Oh, it's loaded! Tear it! Look, come and look at this! Down and break that bottom ladder for you. This other bag too! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, we got you. You jump. You going? Oh shit! A thousand crude. Oh. And just like that, we had another wipe day raid under our belt. And this gave us enough materials to start working on the compound around HQM quarry. We also had stockpiled a lot of diesel over the raids we had done and looting power plant that now we could run it and have an insane supply to start out our shop. At this point, our wipe day was coming to an end finally, but to end the night, I decided to do some necessary upgrades to the base before logging, just to make sure that we'd have loot the next day to play with. Waking up day two not offline, decided to put my full focus into the HQM compound and crafted up about 50 walls with all of our extra stone to work on securing it.
And after getting the compound complete, I set up the shop on the map and ran Cory with all of our diesel. And let me tell you, this was the most OP shop I have ever built. Now that we had the shop up and rolling and my teammate hopped on, our goal for day two was to make some enemies around the map and hope to get raided. So that's exactly what we did. Yeah, I need them to push you, but... Screw it, I'm just gonna push them. I'm gonna push up to this rock. Yeah. One dead, I'm like one HP. One's pushing my body, he's like on it right now, it's just south of you. Yeah, you might need it. I mean, I only had a pro, but... No, someone bought from our- someone's outside jumping on snow. Yeah, I stole the mini, it's me. Oh, no way. No, uh. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We went to counter a raid near the base that we countered last night and ran into one of the players that lived there. Okay, hit me on my... Dad, he pushed me with MP5. He's not... Or he's pushing my body, I think, but he heard you. Go. Uh, I just got doubled from across the map. Now, usually I don't jump to conclusions, but this guy right here, 200 meters, and he doubled me off three shots, so I was thinking he was a little bit sus. And it actually turns out he was banned like a day later. So that kind of made us want to take our PvP elsewhere, because we didn't want to run into him anymore. Three times. Alright, I'm flanking him. He ran the other side. I'm hopping down. I'm not stuck up here when they decide to run. There are three all going to the top of the rock. I should be able to kill him here. Blue has he hit I'm wounded. AK just beat me. Play for yourself here. Yeah. I'm wounded. Oh, one's right below me. All dead. Having really winning the majority of our PvP fights, we decided to pop an Orti and go hit some Sulfur so we could do some more raids and get ourselves to become more of a target. Not having a ton of boom though, we settled on a little farm base to hopefully get some good loot, and possibly PvP. Pushing a large furnace. Okay, I definitely should have just went front door, I guess. Ooh, this is I don't even know what in the years. role play this is. Not small Let me check. Rock base is fun. Oh yeah, right outside. Uh I'm a one inch I mean, it has a little bit of sauce. Nothing crazy, but... Got 20, uh, okay. 
We gotta worry about the like 10 counters outside though. They have a camper van as well. Wally. I'm down, I'm wounded. Unfortunately, these guys weren't online like we thought, but that didn't change the fact that there were like six counters outside with a camper van, so we decided to make quick work of them. Two dead out here. You wanna hop out and I'll hold for you? He's on the rock now. He ran to the rock. Just push this kid. I'll hold the right side. No. He's got right in the back. He should be dead, probably. Two other kids on me? Okay, I'll try and hold for you if I can. Yeah, get yeah, an angle. there's two of them right there. In the there's a bunch of... He hopped our camper dead. I'm 20. Can you cover me? Yeah, I am. I am. I got two on me. One's pushing you right side of the rock. Killed one. I killed him yeah, on the right side. Me. Watch out. There's a guy on the gate over here. I don't know if he's naked or not. There's so much loot. Yeah, many bodies, dude. There's one more I can't- the one that you killed I did not loot. Okay, we need to go. I'm just full inventory again. I'm stacked. I smoked the hazzy by the camper van. I'm gonna yeah, go loot him. You can leave, you can leave. Yeah, yeah, I can just run, fuck it. Oh my god, I almost died to a rev. I'm just gonna dip. Are you coming to try to help you? Nah, I'm leaving. I'm good. Having wiped the whole group outside as well as soft siding into another loot room of the raid that was pretty loaded, we knew for sure we were making ourselves a target at this point. And given it was already pretty late day two, we transferred the loot and hopped off for the night. This was about until 2 a.m. rolled around. Now for some reason, either because I wasn't offline or my turrets, they just ran. They wasted like six to eight rockets and then just dipped. So I was pretty disappointed because I wanted a defense. But then, 4.30 a.m. rolls around and the same exact thing happens. It's literally 4.30.
There's no way it's just one, right? Okay. And honestly, again, it was another disappointing defense. At this point, I didn't really care if we lost our loot or not. I was just playing for the experience, but no one really wanted to send it. These guys ended up leaving on their tugboat again, and I just went back to bed. And then we start off with day three. Day three starts out with our shop selling 40 diesel overnight. So instantly, I went over and put it in the HQM quarry, and we were just completely stacked on high qual. With this, we just kept throwing it back in the shop and using it to upgrade our base. And pretty much at this point, it was just infinite diesel, which in turn meant infinite high qual. As soon as my teammate logged on, given it was the last day we were going to be playing the server, we decided to just focus on PvP and trying to find one last online to do with the few rockets we had. Snowmobile behind us going back up the hill. He's about to shoot at us in the back. You're chasing us. You're about to get shot. Tonight. Launcher. Killed one. That gets hit three. I killed Launcher. Full dead. He's going for his teammate's body. I had to reload. I'm pushing. We can't let this guy leave. He might have rockets. He's throwing it. Dead. Got M2. Yeah, this is just like a raid. Close. One's close. Dead. Doubled. Alright, so still that one has him, but he fell back. Turned on him. He's dead. Headshot the one that's picking up his teammate. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. J just start running down there. I'll pick. Up. Good? I'm good. I'll kill this kid. Dead. I domed him. Just start running over there, yep. Yeah, yeah, I am. Now all the people we were killing had too big a bases for how much boom we had left. So we followed a farmer back to their base and decided to hit them online. 2v2. Oh yeah, he's like showing up. I'm dead? Wait, what? Okay, well I'm dead. Halfway froze, but also sprayed six bullets into him before I died. Does that make sense? Do you have a bag anywhere close? Uh, this is kind of close, right? Except for I just freeze way too much. After. Now, due to unfortunate timing, my teammate's game crashed right as this happened, but I figured I'm already here, so I may as well send it. Shit, man. He f***ed up. I played him like a flute. And with that raid, we're pretty happy to end the wipe on that. The next night, I waited for an offline again, and once again, at 4am, the same guy showed up HVing out all of our turrets and trying to steal our shop loot. But once again, they were unsuccessful, were too scared to send it, so they drove away on their tugboat. To finish the wipe off, I begged a lot of people from chat to come share all of our loot we got over all the days. Hey guys, guess what?
Yeah. Here's a here's a spawn to for Gus. Go subscribe to Gus Rust on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, chill. Oh, Gus is talking to him right oh, here. In the I, I love Gus. He's right Wait, here. Who? Gus is here? Who? Yes, sir. All right, have fun, gamers. Hope you guys have a good wipe. All right. That's all that matters. Oh my God! Alright boys, see you guys later. Alright boys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you stuck around all the way this far, I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to comment to enter into the 10k giveaway and make sure to sub and like if you guys enjoyed. Peace boys.